Hello, I'm Chef John Besh and welcome to New Orleans. Can't wait to take you around. Tonight, we're gonna have dinner just a couple blocks away over at Red's Chinese. We'll have a Creole lunch at Galatois in the French Quarter, one of the oldest restaurants in the country. But before we start, we need a healthy breakfast. So come on with me to Satsuma. You're gonna love it. In the heart of the Bywater, one of my favorite places. Here we are in Satsuma Cafe in the Bywater. You can say that this is actually like the cornerstone of this neighborhood. What I love about it, it's not cliche New Orleans. It's a place that makes me feel healthy. All right, so what do we have here, This Cassie? is the Popeye juice, and that's gonna have spinach and kale and apple and lemon. Now what's it gonna do for me? It's gonna make you feel wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Love this, and I tell you what, this is the first green juice I've ever had in my life. Now, as far as sandwiches go, this is my go-to breakfast sandwich. So you got whole wheat toast, right? And then a little arugula, avocado. I see some uh, some cheese, some Creole tomato. This is what it's all about, baby. Now, after such a healthy and delicious breakfast here at Setsuma, it's time to go off and splurge in a decadent lunch at Galatoire's. All right, so we just had the best breakfast in New Orleans at Satsuma. Now it's lunchtime. We're here on Bourbon Street. Time to go check out Galatoire's. Notice, gentlemen wear jackets and Galatoire's. All right, so here we are, y'all. This is Galatoire's restaurant. I think the best seat in the house right here. 105 years old. I love the fact that they preserve this beautiful room so well, and it's always full of light, full of people. And to be honest, this is the first time I've ever actually looked at a menu. You know why? Because locals don't do that. The servers here know how you like your drink. They know what you want to eat. They know what's the freshest thing in the kitchen. Now my server happens to be John Fontenot, otherwise known as Cajun John. John Fontenot, what's up, babe? Good to see you, man. How are you? I love you, boy. Life is good, chef. So I can't come to Galatoire's without one of these. This is the Sazerac. A lot of people don't like this on the rocks. I find that like during the day like this, I kind of need it on the rocks. Last time I was here, it was a three Sazerac lunch. I had to be helped out of here. There you go, Jim. All right, so we have a little crab meat maison. Crab meat maison and shrimp from All right, this is awesome. These are big jumbo gold shrimp. They wouldn't think of serving anything that wasn't local. So far before there was ever a locavore movement across this country, there was New Orleans. Crunchy, lots of spice, some vinegar, and then that uh, Creole mustard, and a little bit of cayenne pepper with some lemon juice. And all of a sudden, it's just waking that shrimp up. All right, so check it out. This is jumbo lump, blue crab meat, nutty brown butter, delicate, delicate fish, sweet and briny crab meat, a little bit of hollandaise, a little dash of Tabasco, some lemon juice, parsley. What's that to like? Something tells me this ain't gonna be good, baby. <laughs> what do we got? Cafe Brulo. John's a master at Cafe Brulo. This is unbelievable. So he'll take this flaming liquor and just run it right down this orange. It's got cloves and cinnamon and that's it. Two Sazeracs and the Cafe Brulo. That's all I can take. Merci beaucoup. Voila. Wait till you see what's coming up for dinner. Now we're headed in to Red's Chinese. We're gonna sit down with the owner, Tobias, and have some dinner. All right, so here we are, right here in the heart of Red Chinese. We've got Tobias here. Their style's really interesting. I haven't seen it, but maybe a few times where people actually do this right. All right, so tell me what we have. This is, this smells incredible. I know the, that's your crawfish. Yeah, the crawfish, uh, rangoons, take off of traditional Asian crab rangoons. But we always ask ourselves, like, where is the crab in the rangoon? So we source out really good uh, New Orleans, Louisiana crawfish. Look at that. Big chunks in there. So that when you bite into it, there it is, right in your face. This is like the perfect combination of New Orleans and Chinese. Now tell me about the soup. I know 
people come from all over the city for yes. this one particular dish. Absolutely. What makes it so special? It smells incredible. The wontons are a combination of chicken and pork. Lots of spice, but it's not too spicy. We just want to bring that heat and that tradition and that balance and always trying to play with that. You know, finding that magic spot where everything can speak for itself. Red's Chinese really comes down to one thing. That's Jim Lee's chicken. This is the best. It's crispy, it's sweet, spicy. It's got so many dimensions to it. Plus, it's better the next day. Dude, Chef, you ended it on such a high note. It's been a great day, starting at Satsuma, then the Galatoire's having this big Creole lunch. To end it on such a high note, we love what you're doing here at Red's Chinese. This has been so much fun. I appreciate you joining.